Hi, this is the first video in application of ideal gas law. Ideal gas law PV is equal to NKT is very important to thermodynamics. It's important in the sense that multiplication is important to calculus. So thermodynamics isn't entirely about ideal gas law, but we presume that you know how to apply ideal gas law when you are going into thermodynamics. So we'll present information in such a way that you must use ideal gas law to fill in the blanks and figure out any details that's not directly provided to you. That's what I mean. It's important in the sense that multiplication is important in calculus. Calculus classes are not really about multiplication, but we assume you know how to do multiplication to be able to do calculus. All right, so this uh, is the simpler of the two examples that I will work out. So this is a more direct, straightforward example of ideal gas law. So you are given some sample of gas in the form of sealed bag. So what that tells you is that um, the number of gas particles N will be constant in this problem. So now the problem gives you a set of informations. It gives you pressure at the bottom where it's packed. Let me assign a letter to it, PB. And the temperature of 19 degrees C. Let me assign that another letter, temperature at the bottom. And it says when opened at a summer picnic place in some place at a temperature 31 degrees C. Let me give that another letter. This is the temperature, let's say at the top. The volume of the air in the bag is 1.39 times its original volume. This is a bit odd way of giving you the information. So let me kind of write it down. What it's telling you is that the volume of the air in the bag at the top. So V top is equal to some multiplicative factor F times volume at the bottom. Now it's asking, what is the pressure of the air at the top? So pressure at the top. So it's a pretty straightforward question. You have one unknown that you're trying to solve for. And this ideal gas law is going to be your main tool. So this would be my approach. Ideal gas law involves four quantities that could potentially change. Pressure, volume, number of particles and temperature. In most problems, the number of particles is going to be the same. So a strategy to use ideal gas law would be to use it like a conservation law because you can rewrite this into this form. You can rewrite it as pressure times volume divided by temperature is equal to and KB, K, Boltzmann constant is constant, it doesn't change. N could potentially change, but in many questions it doesn't. So in the questions where N doesn't change, the right hand side is constant, meaning the combination of quantities on the left hand side under one situation at the bottom near sea level has to be the same as the at the top where you're doing the summer picnic so that's what i mean you would use this like a conservation law even though it's not technically so i hope you remember how to apply conservation law from physics 4a let me give you a quick refresher so i would write down pressure at the bottom times volume at the bottom divided by temperature at the bottom is equal to pressure at the top times volume at the top divided by temperature at the top. Remember, you are being asked for pressure at the top. So I better solve for it. Let's solve for it. Solving for PT, I get PT is equal to uh, let me just 
do it in my head. All right, there it is. Well, I'm not that fast. I edited the video. Um, so in this expression, now I think you have all the information to plug in. So you are not given the volumes directly, but you can solve for the ratio of volumes from here. So let me solve this as VB over VT. VB over VT is equal to 1 over F, seems right to me. That means what I have here is going to become 1 over F when I plug in the numbers. So in my case, 1 over 1.39. You do have to be careful with the temperatures here. In ideal gas law, we are assuming that the temperature is in absolute scale, that is the Kelvin scale. So you should convert the temperatures 19 degrees C, if that's the number you have, to Kelvin scale by adding 273 or 273.15. So you kind of want to be sure that the number that you are plugging for temperature at the bottom is 292.15 Kelvin and the temperature at the top that you are plugging in is equal to 304.15 Kelvin. Well, so I guess temperature actually doesn't change a lot. But the tolerance for this problem is 1%, so you do want to plug that in. Um, and you are given the pressure at the bottom, one atmosphere. So after you work out all these multiplicative factors, you should get the pressure at the top in atmosphere. So that's it. Pretty simple. Um, it's uh, the main tool you use to figure out any unknown pressure, volume, or temperature. In this question, it was an unknown pressure that you had to figure out. Um, I'll see you for the second example, and bye.